model ship conceals a clue to one of the greatest secrets in all history. Tintin is one of the world's most famous comic book characters except in the U.S., mm -hmm. of course. What are the challenges of introducing a globally known character to American audiences? The challenges are no greater and no less than introducing a, a movie like Shrek that had a, a very small book attached to it that did not sell 250 million copies the way Tintin did overseas. It's like any original film. I mean, I mean, Americans love originality. They don't need to know that there's a European precedent for the character of Tintin and all the characters in our film. It's only important that American audiences uh, discover who Tintin is for them as an original work. Caribou Jean. Caribou Jean! Does that mean anything to you? Great Scotland, yeah! Oh, that's extraordinary! What is? Worthington's have a half price sale on bowler hats. Really, Thompson? This is hardly the time. Great Scotland Yard! What is it? Kane's a half price too. Are you going to take charge of this evidence? Tintin is a project that utilizes motion capture to help create its characters. Is that a difficult or an unusual process working in this environment that's like virtually minimalist? No, not really. Uh, I think it, as a performer, it draws on the skills that you utilized as a child in pretending. You know, you've. You're in a, 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 an area in space called the volume, uh, which has a couple of hundred cameras in the ceiling and there are probably 10 reference cameramen around you and you have a, a kind of helmet with a camera here to capture your facial expressions. The process is slightly different. I think for me, the most difficult thing was squeezing into my motion capture suit each morning. <laughs> Standing next to Daniel Craig in his, that's, you know, it was like a, it was like a Jenny Craig before and after picture. <laughs> As a director, I didn't realize how liberating this medium was going to be for me. I was like a 12-year-old kid with my 8-millimeter movie camera running around the, mo the performance capture volume, actually getting shots. Now, you don't get shots in performance capture. There's no film. But what I can do is do setups. I can, I can angle the camera. and or It's not a camera. It's like a game controller to be able to put into the computer an angle that I want to achieve. So for me, it was ambrosia. It really was. The key, Snowy. Not the sandwich. The key. <laughs> Joe Cornish, one of the screenwriters, has described the character of Tintin as being like a child's idea of what it is to be a teenager. Do you agree with that assessment at all? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I consider him to be very much a beacon of excellence for children. I do. I mean, he's got a great moral compass. Uh, the message of Tintin is really great. He is this amazing, intrepid, curious, innocent, fearless adventurer who relies on nothing other than his own natural heroic instinct. You know, he doesn't have any uh, superpowers. He doesn't have any like kind of technology to help him out. He is kind of literally by the seat of his pants, genius, you know, and I think that's a great message. You know, you can be great just as who you are. Sometimes I saw a dynamic physicality that made me think, I think Tintin has had some dance training. Well, you know, from, from the books, you know, if, if um, you know, the way he moves and the way he's drawn is always very kind of dynamic. It is yeah. kind of always kind of constantly explosive. I mean, Stephen, for a long time, would just kind of look at, we had blew up all these panels from the comic books and placed, like, plastered them around the studio, and we'd, we'd just be looking at them, and, and we'd both kind of be doing the positions. You mean the poem? Yes. The poem written in Old English? Yes. It was inside a cylinder? Yes. Concealed in the mast? Yes! I don't have it. Peter Jackson is the producer of Tintin, of course, and will be directing the already announced sequel. Yes. Tell me about the origin of that collaboration. How did you two found each other? We found each other at the Oscars when I handed him an Academy Award <laughs> for the third <laughs> Lord of the Rings uh, Best Picture. With my right hand, I was shaking Peter's hand and handing him his Oscar with my left hand. And that was the first time we ever met, and we became fast friends and fast collaborators for Tintin because he grew up with, unlike myself, he grew up with Tintin.